Hello everybody, Sift here again with another Souls on Survivors run. And today we're gonna be doing the Holy Light build with the Paladin. Just because he gets 20% more healing, so we're gonna be healing a lot. We're gonna use Singular Focus to pick up the skill 5 times. A reroll mastery to control our build and dash master because I'm still lacking that last point. We're gonna go into the easiest level possible. We're not gonna play with any crisp intensity. And the reason is because I don't think this build is going to be good. I just want to have fun today. We're gonna have fun with light show and we're gonna see how much we're gonna survive. In general, the plan is going to be to just all everything be filled with pillars of light. And hopefully we're gonna just heal while trying to survive. I'm not sure if this is gonna get to endless two, three or four. I don't think it's gonna be doing enough damage to get to those high levels, but we're gonna see, we're gonna see. At the end of the day, the main plan is to just straight up get um, as many holy lights, I mean five holy lights and one might. I think that's the plan pretty much. We expose weakness, wow, we got this right away. We're gonna take this. Got the expose weakness, not that we really need it. Like it's not gonna be as if we're gonna apply any debuff or anything. Eh, but you never know, man, you never know. Uh, one bleed here, one poison there, maybe some damage is gonna happen. But once again, uh, no multi-strike, just a bunch of healing, just a bunch of uh, everything around us heals us. None of these, to be honest. None of these, to be honest. Be gone of light. None of these, to be honest. None of these. Uh, smite. This is the skill. Smite. Uh, with might of smite. So, smite enemies at random location after 3 seconds with holy light, doing some damage, which is pretty sizable, by the way. 800 damage. I mean, this does 600. This does 50 times 20. This does 225. So, this, in, on average, is good. And then also heals us for 5. So that is pretty much the idea here. We're gonna be like a super duper smite explosion build. Of course, we will need to get, you know, more smites. And also, we definitely will need to get uh, might. I have been told that might is good. I'm not sure how good it is. Level up. Uh, I'm gonna say for agility. I mean, we're definitely gonna reroll and we're not gonna multicast that. I'm gonna get blades of light going. Although I think this is one of the more powerful ones. Uh, but I don't care, man. We're just gonna go with the light. And we're gonna just stay in the light and hope that we're gonna survive at the end of the fight. Uh, I guess at the end of the game. As long as we don't get one shot, that's where it's all gonna come down to. Let's go damage increase on smite. This is now at a thousand damage already. Very nice. Uh, although, once again, we do a double strike of 225, so I don't even know how good the thousand is. <laughs> like, I previously stated that it's uh, one of the higher damaging things. Uh, but still, <laughs> the truth of the matter is, it's just the one attack that explodes once every six, three, six seconds. So it's not really completely busted with anything. Oh, that was a sizable hit there. Might. We're gonna take Might. Empower you and allies near your, your allies. Uh, wait. Your nearby allies increasing damage by 50%. It says additional 50%. So that's why I don't think it's that good. But the thing is that this straight up scales more damage faster than what you scale damage by taking these. Because this is an uncommon upgrade of 10%. If I get an... Un Let's take this, by the way. If I take... If I get an uncommon upgrade of Might, it's going to be 30%. Right? And 30% of 50 is 15. So, um, as you understand, it's just better. Let's go with 16 resilience. In general, I do want to become as, um, you know, I want to take as little damage as possibly possible. That's really important. Because the less damage we take, the more valuable healing is. Light beam, not really. None of these, to be honest. Let's roll. None of these either. Let's roll. Uh, do might stack? Let's see if might stack. That's a good uh, chance. Let's chance it. Let's see if might stacks. At this point, it's a meme. Uh, I have 135 damage. I think they stack. Like, the moment this goes uh, down to the middle and a bit more to the left, we're gonna know if it stacks or not. So we have 85. So they do stack, indeed, because we just lost the one buff. And I'm gonna also lose the other buff. Yeah, now we're at 35. Exactly. So they do stack. Uh, I'm gonna say area on might. Yeah, on smite. Whatever. Uh, let's hope we're just gonna get another smite, by the way. Or we can just go with five mites and something else. The holy light of might. Let's go with cooldown reduction. That's always a good choice on pretty much everything. This already has a 6 second cooldown, so it's not really huge. So theoretically speaking, I should be able to get something going here. Let's reroll these. Holy fire. Launch three web of light, direction you're aiming at, causing 925 damage to enemies in a straight line, transforming all stacks of days and disorient. I mean, the only days thing here is blade of light. So that's like a no. And uh, now YOLO it, I guess. Let's pick up the heroic strike here. At least it's a strike. Let's hope we're not gonna find strike skills, to be honest. Yeah, maybe I should have taken something random so we don't find said uh, skill very often. By the way, I shouldn't even move around. I should just stay here and try to hit him. Multicast 12%. Very nice. Start getting some multicast going. And the first elite. Oh, the first elite is toast already. I see. So, um, yeah. First elite is toast already. Once again, the whole idea is we're gonna go as deep as possible into endless. That's what we want to achieve. So it doesn't matter if elites are easy or not, because at endless 5, 6, or 7, we will start seeing opponents just smack us once and we die. 
Level up. Light beam. Not really. Let's reroll these. And, uh, well, that's it. Uh, let's go with another might because the memes are strong with this one. Maybe I'm gonna rotate over to a blade. Should I do a blades of light plus a bunch of might build? This sounds just so stupid. And maybe once might. This is just so stupid. <laughs> We're gonna go with blades of light while going with might and having once might. Uh... uh YOLO it. The meme is real, man. The meme is real. We're gonna be the... This is the Sogoku build, man. This is the Sogoku build. We just power up the lasers, I guess. Power up the power-ups. We're just gonna make these things be permanent. And we're just, just gonna play with Blades of Light. Uh, brutal strikes. No movement speed. Let's go with bleed, I guess. Whatever. Uh, now that I think about it, wait a minute. If this thing applies blade... Oh, you know what? We're gonna throw away the smite, too. We're gonna go with the other thing. The Pillar of Light. Because... This applies dazed, okay? And if this attacks insanely fast, and we then also have the other thing that says that uh, opponents... Here, holy fire. Dazed becomes disorient. Disorient means they get higher crit damage. So if I can get, for example, a thousand stacks of dazed on opponents, then this is gonna instant transform. Yeah, we're gonna take this. This is damage. This is a lot of damage for us. So we're gonna take holy fire. I'm gonna throw away, of course, heroic strike. And then we're gonna also throw away smite. Forget it. We're holy warrior. You know, the, the path of the healing didn't really you know help so we decided to go to the path of the dps level up uh, i i invested a couple of levels in smite but this is what it is i'm gonna say let's go defense uh pretty much we have no healing by the way it is what it is too let's uh let's see what we can get 10 percent damage is decent if everything was trash then i would have rerolled trying to throw away the smite and um yeah uh, honestly speaking i don't even need to throw away the smite Frequency on one of this one of these. Uh, I'm not gonna take it. We're gonna fight frequency on something else at some point. I don't need a buff on one of these. Let's roll these. Uh, multicast holy. Perfect. Perfect. You see, we instantly got something better. As simple as that. And then the light show goes on. Uh, multicast on holy once again. We're gonna continue taking that. So we're gonna have some more hits, especially when those waves fly off. Level up. Honestly, none of these. Let's be serious. 20% movement speed is decent. Once again, I'm only gonna use the rerolls on weapons when I find the... Um, when I find exactly what I want. Damage increase on physical, which is literally everything, which makes mites even better. Yep, insane. So from 50%, they now provide 75. They just got a 25% damage boost. So that was just an insane buff overall. Level up frequency, no. Uh, attack speed of Holy Fire. Of Holy Fire, I would say yes. Because Holy Fire is definitely gonna stay in this build. And uh, oh man, oh man, I'm so excited about this. Another might. You know what? Let's throw away the smite. Let's get another might. The meme is really strong with this one. And uh, yeah, let's go with it. Smite. And now I have four mites. As my, uh, no more. <laughs> I no longer have a smite. So uh, at this point, the build is... We've got Blades of Light alongside some might. And also Holy Fire. <laughs> let's go. I do enjoy it when the, when the rhyme just abruptly ends. Level up. Gag running or damage on area. Damage on area. This is a 40% damage boost on a 50% thing. So this is a 20% damage boost four times. This sounds insane. Wait a minute. Did I find something good? Every time I boost these four mites, we just extremely much make Blades of Light insane. And then the Holy Fire is just so that Daze becomes disorient. Like, that's the only purpose of that thing. Uh, why did I reroll that? That was a mistake, by the way. Haha, <laughs> 15%. This happened because luck. <laughs> That 15% is almost nothing, by the way. Like, that 15% is nothing in comparison to the mites. Level up. Ooh, another 15, multicast 6%. That's what we're gonna take. In general, we definitely want to go a bunch of multicasts. Want to destroy everything. You know, in hindsight, maybe I should have gone higher difficulties. But in hindsight, hindsight, it doesn't matter. Damage on empowering, we're definitely gonna go with this. 30% damage on a 50% damage is a 15% boost. So from 95, they're gonna go up to 110. And yeah, as you see, I, I got the calculations right. So that's really good. I just got... Uh, pretty much 15% three, six time, four times. So this is a 60% damage boost on everything. Love it. We roll. Uh, none of these, to be honest. I don't enjoy these. Let's uh, re-roll again. 15% damage. Potency of one might is the same with 15% damage. Like, literally, these two are the same exact thing. I'm gonna go with 15% damage just in case, you know, uh, the might boost somehow happens differently. I don't know. And uh, let's smack uh, Alexo here. And he just got destroyed. So the moment... The moment Holy Fire hits the bosses, they're dead. Uh, I'm gonna get slow once, so I banish it later. I want to pick this up just so that I have it, and then we're gonna banish it after the fact. And in general, the plan is we want to get as many Blades of Light as possible. Uh, in my opinion, Blades of Light is one of the more powerful builds. And the fact that I got Weakness early also builds the build up. Uh, these are all trash. I'm gonna roll them. And these are also trash. Let's go with the defense, so maybe we're gonna survive later, as this is a melee build after all. 
So, um, yeah, we begun with something else, and now we are something else, but I think this is a better build. Uh, light beam, not really. Let's rule these. And this is a banish on the ice. Frequency on one of them. I'm gonna say no. Uh, let's go with a smidge of area, I guess. Would have preferred a smidge of cooldown, but it is what it is, you know. We can't really control everything all the time. And uh, as luck would have it. Man, I, I really love the holy fire, to be honest. Let's continue onwards. Level up. Area of effect on physical, which is literally everything. We're gonna take that. Very nice. And the blades of light. Is this blades of light? Yeah, the blades of light just became huge. So that's very nice. Okay. A and the holy fire also became huge. <laughs> and the multicast is also starting to fly off. This is a very lucky run, actually. Like, I don't know how we flipped it off. Like, flipped it around. The unlucky run just became a lucky run. Just, just luck, man. Just luck. I'm not sure if I should banish. I think I should take Doom once. I should take a couple of things sometimes. So they start finding them more often. You know, uh, and I also want... Uh, not finding them more often, but I want to start finding those passives that say, you know, when you apply bleed, you apply XYZ. Just because we're gonna... My, another might. Let's go. No, we're gonna definitely keep what we have. This is the build. The build is done. I don't want any of these. I guess we're gonna take the poison once again for the purpose of, you know, let's also have the poison. Uh, I'm thinking about, you know, next thing I should go is... Theoretically, I should go with attacks with uh, crit chance. But uh, there is no reason for us to go with crit chance, as this thing here applies dazed 4%, and it attacks twice. So a single strike of this is instantly 8% uh, chance to get critted on. And then uh, that also, let's go max life, that also is gonna get multiplied by holy farm making it a disorient. So there is no reason for us to go crit chance, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I just want to keep it in. Let's also go with fire, as I haven't gone one. Uh, I, I'm just thinking about going for crits chance uh, to keep the crit chance in because maybe we're gonna find like a 15% crit chance as my base crit chance is only 20% which is very low um, and uh, that is a DPS decrease pretty much the first uh, five hits not being crits especially because we apply weakness right so I want to get the weakness buff as early as possible uh, honestly none of these let's roll it and none of these either but uh, well we don't really have a choice let's go with life I got this guy smack 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 yeah, I mean it takes a while until he gets enough concussions or enough dazed effects on them so we definitely want to find like two or three at uh, or three yeah if you find two or three blue crit chances then then we're good like at 50 to 60 percent crit chance we're good after that we don't need more multicast blades of light this is the most yes we ever yes and uh, we want this thing to just fire all the time at some point this is gonna have like a cooldown of 0 0.5 and then the madness shall begin of course the cooldown we want on it is like 0 0.1 I'm saying there and everything, that's also decent. Uh, I'm doing the corner stretch just because I want to enter infinite. Uh, the good infinite, that is. And as you can see, we're 8 minutes and we still haven't even fought the fourth boss. So we definitely need this corner strat here to get what we want to get going. Right? Otherwise, I would have definitely gone for that one. And also, my main, a uh, very big chunk of my damage is based on the mites being permanent. And right now, they're not. So right now, they're not even remotely, remotely close to permanent. <laughs> if I pause right now, my damage is 190%. Like, it's, it's just a joke. Uh, honestly, none of these, but I'm gonna take the Doom. Do I have the Doom debuff? I don't think I have the Doom. Let's take the Doom debuff, so we also have that. And I'm just lacking the... I got the Poison, I got the Ice, I got the Fire, I got the Doom. Yeah, that means we're done. We're done with the debuffs. By the way, why is there no debuff? No, no, Fragility is the one that's missing, of course. Uh, why is there no debuff for the rest of the debuffs? Why is there no Bleed debuff? Why is there no... Um... What else is there? Daze debuff? Like, everything, everything, everything else doesn't exist. Level up. 10% damage or fragility. I'm gonna go 10% damage. I'm not sure if that's the right choice, but whatever. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. Let's go 16. As you can see, we're destroying everything. Uh, but the main gameplay is going to be in Endless. I want to see what this is going to look like in Endless. And also, I want to see what Endless looks like in uh, Easy 1. Because... Easy 1, I guess. Uh, difficulty 0. Because... I, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I stopped playing in this difficulty in general. And uh, the idea here is that I want to just play Endless and have fun. So we're gonna definitely have fun at the end of this. Level up. No <laughs> Holy Fire is back. Uh, let's go Frequency. No, let's go Multicast. Let's go Frailty, to be honest. Like, we need to start stacking some Frailties. And the Multicast 8% on literally one spell is not really that crazy appealing to me. Uh, buffs don't Multicast, by the way, like, at all. And we know that because you can see uh, this here has Skill Modifier, blah, 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 blah. And it has... Uh, multicast 48%, right? I haven't gotten a single single deep buff for Holy Fire as far as I know. This has 108 multicast, right? And this has zero. Like, this doesn't have multicast at all. Although we got Holy Spells get multicast, so... Potency of one of the mites. 
Yeah, this is a 15% damage boost. Every time I find potency on one of the, the mites, it's 15% damage boost. That's something I really need to drill into my brain because that is good. Like, gaining 50% damage boost every once in a while is really good. I mean, look at this. It's still 600 damage right now. Okay, I'll cancel that. Don't look at it. But the moment these two mites hit, hit it. Look at this. Now it does 1,200. Like, now it's doing double damage. Let's go with defense. Let's continue onwards. I don't need attacks. We don't the holy fire. In general, holy fire is just a one-shot ability. Like, I just wanted to shoot the enemy so they get those uh, the debuff that I care about. And then after that, I really don't care about it at all. I just want opponents to get disoriented. Now, my question is, if opponents have weakness and they have a bunch of days on them and then I transform them the, the days into disorients, is there a chance that 50% of those, uh, instead of, you know, let's say I have 100 stacks of days, is there any chance that it gets more or disorient? I think it just did. I think it just happened. I think this opponent had 100 uh, days and then they became 150 disorient. So if that's the case, then we're really good. Uh, damage on this thing. Yep, 693. Let's go into the cool endless. The one that uh, the kids prefer, I guess. I don't know. Into the endless we shall go. Let's dash into corner strats again because, um, yeah, right now it, it will still take a while until we fight the bosses. Boom, 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 slash him. They definitely survive. We definitely need to increase our damage real quick. So at the end of the day, as I mentioned in the very beginning of pretty much... Uh, you know what? Let's, let's banish these. I don't really need... Poison stacks and whatnot. I have fire, bye-bye. I have uh, poison, bye-bye. And uh, let's get crit damage for sure. We are a crit damage build after all. Um, yeah, as I mentioned, like, I have mentioned this a bunch of times in higher difficulties. Like, the only thing that have multicast physical, let's go, uh, 48%. Uh, yeah, this is a good proof. You see, this didn't get multicast. As simple as that. And I need this to be permanent, by the way. We need to get attack speed. Another might, nope. 10% uh, attack speed, very nice, very nice. 17% second, 17 seconds, 0.9 on that. Um... Uh, I guess damage, but we move slower. I don't know. Yeah, as I have mentioned a bunch of times, I, my opinion is that the only main reason damage on frontal, which is my two main skills, 36% damage, I mean, this is just 40% more damage. Uh, I have mentioned that higher difficulties, the only purpose they actually serve is that, um, you, you first of all, you got resources, and I should amass resources if I can. And the second reason, let's banish this too, the second reason why you want to go into Endless is because... Uh, no, 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 no. The, the, sec the only reason why you would like to go in higher difficulty is to either unlock things or to, you know, challenge yourself or because you want resources. Otherwise, there is no real reason. Like, if you want to have fun like I'm doing and if you want to test runs, if anything, you should go into lower difficulties because the main idea is... Oh, I should have gotten the Harmson crit chance. If I get the Harmson crit chance, I can instantly banish crits. Because the only way, a reason I want to get crits, crit chance higher is so that the very first hit is an instant uh, apply of weakness. Magnetic for sure. Um, so yeah, if, if you just want to have fun and test runs, you should do it on lower difficulties. Because after endless 5, 6, 7, 8, these guys will have enough, enough life to survive no matter what your run is. So this is just better in my opinion. Multicast frontal, this is a very much yes time. Roll these. Uh, not frequency on one of them. I don't care about that. We roll these. Damage on my main attack by 30%. Why not? Level up. Duration on one of the mites. Honestly, no. <laughs> uh, none of these either. 5% cooldown. I'm gonna say ban. No, I'm gonna keep Doom in. Although, of course, I would have preferred to keep anything else other than Doom. But I want to banish the crit chance when it appears. I haven't seen it appear yet once. But whatever. Let's reroll these. Damage on my actual skill. Continue destroying opponents. Level up. None of these. Cancel. Misclick. Uh, duration on one of them. Now we're going to go with Poison Applies Doom because why not? Let's continue with that idea. And as I said, we have no healing whatsoever, but it is what it is. It's a bit sad that both of these are frontal. Oh, 20% attack speed. Perfect. 14 second cooldown on that. Eight, 0 0.8 on this. I'm, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. We need this to become 0 0.5 or less. Area on Holy. Perfect. We're gonna take that. We need the slashes to also be almost global. We want them to at least be the whole screen. So if I see in a boss, I can actually hit it without yoloing inside of it. All these and our might. Let's go with red damage, I would say. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what I should actually go most of these times. Level up. Uh, let's go with a bit more max life. There is no reason to actually get one shot. I mean, look at this. The slash starts becoming permanent starts actually happening, especially with the multicast, man. The multicast really helped with these becoming permanent. Although, as far as I know, slashes have an almost zero um, hit attack speed. 
Like, if I get infinite attack speed, the slash is gonna be like... like it's gonna be like a little buzzsaw. So, it's gonna look a lot crazier and faster. Level up. Here we go. Vicious Ram. I'm gonna take this. And now, the very first hit is always a guaranteed crit. Therefore, a guaranteed weakness application. Therefore, I don't need to go for crits anymore. Let's roll these. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna banish the crits. I guess I have only 3% crit chance. But as I said, there is like no reason. The first hit is a crit, which instantly applies weakness because this says your crit tracks have 100% chance to apply wound. And then wound lasts for 6 seconds. Within 6 seconds, the opponent's gonna have like a million stacks of um, a million stacks of dazed. And then the crit chance is guaranteed anyway. So let's banish the lethality. No, 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 no. Yeah, lethality. Increase your crit damage chance. And we're gonna go 10% attack speed. Very nice because I'm lucky. 0.7 on this. I mean, a 0.5 might not be enough, but 0.3 is definitely going to be enough. Uh, let's go with size. 10% size. Not sure how good that is. Ah, I'm 50-50 on that. Maybe should have gone with life. Because the thing is, we're going to find something like frontal attacks have X size. You know, 40% more size. Or a holy attacks have 40 more size. And then it's just straight up better than the thing I just chose to get. Let's roll these. Uh, let's go magnet, I would say. Let's get some levels. At the end of the day, I think we're gonna be here for a long while. So, might as well go for some XP gain. Level up. Uh, I'm gonna say size again. Can I please find holy gets damage? Can I find, like, buffs get damage, potency or whatever? Attack speed on my best attack, of course. That is a definite yes. Like, the more attack speed I can find on this, the better. And the more attack speed I can find in general, the better. Wow, these are already down to 13.9 13 seconds. Uh, I'm gonna still go XP gain, although there wasn't attack speed there. Level up. Ooh, 12% indomitable, although there was a 5% attack speed there. And now we're gonna find... Oh, here we go. Damage on frontal. No, a bit disappointing. Or oh, multicast on holy. I'm gonna go damage on frontal. I think this is better than multicast on holy. I'm not 100% sure, of course. How would I? Uh, but still, I think this is good to roll these. See what we get. 10% damage and everything. 3%, 36% crit damage. Once again, my base damage uh, seems to be get, gotten from might anyway. Days applies burn or Leviathan 3%. We're gonna go Leviathan 3%. We move a bit slowish, but we're gonna get the 3% movement speed at some point, and then we're gonna be back in action behemoth, so we don't lose. Let's continue slashing everything around. Seems like we are destroying the smaller enemies pretty fast, uh, but our power comes from the crits on bosses anyway and the days debuff, so disorient days, whatever. Fragility against attack speed. I'm gonna say attack speed. Let's see what we get. Although I do enjoy fragility always, but still, attack speed is pretty good. And this guy's toast. Very nice. Bye bye. I got this. And he's toast. The moment the holy fire hits, they're dead. Oh, damage on empowering. Perfect. This 30% damage is actually 15% damage four times. So this is 60% damage for us. We just got a 60% damage boost, by the way. So that's why I'm telling you, like, it, the best possible thing we can possibly get is either holy or physical. Get 50% more damage. That's by far the best thing we can go for. We're gonna go XP here. Once again, XP is gonna help us in the long run. And this is going to be a long run, at least in my mind, right? At least in my opinion, this is going to be a long run. Might not be. We're gonna see. Frequency of one of the mites. Honestly, no, this is a good old reroll. 20% attack speed. Let's go. 0 0.6 on this. 11.6. It's happening, man. It's happening. 645% more damage from the four mites. You know what? Maybe maybe that's what I should go with all my runs from here on out. Let's go 5% attack speed. It is a low amount, but still it's helping. And maybe I should go... Instead of going 5 times the same skill, I should go 5 times the same buff and 1 time the skill I want. Uh, what's your opinion on that? Like, comment down below and tell me. Tell me what you think is more... Better and more fun. I think, I think going for 5 times the buff and 1 time the skill makes the build viable a bit faster. Ooh, shift against my... We're gonna go shift, of course. <laughs> We're gonna go the super defense. Although, once again, please give me a lock button. Please, 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 Dev. Please, 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 please. please. And add another meta progression currency, uh, meta progression upgrade that gives us a lock button. I want to be able to lock down skills, man. I, I'm tired of seeing some things that are two times good upgrades and you can only get one of them. But see if that's gonna make the game even easier and more broken. And yes, this is, I mean, th that's the purpose of this. <laughs> Literally the point of this. Level up, none of these. I'm gonna go Resilience. Let's continue. Maybe not, you know, dying. And uh, I think from the next wave on, I won't even need to do the corner strat. By the way, the dev just announced, like, a new patch. Uh, it isn't that we got a patch. Damage on... No, these are mediocre. Multicast on Holy. Uh, the dev just announced a new patch. As I said, this isn't a new patch. Just an announcement about what's gonna come in the future. And as far as I understand, the what we're gonna get... Yeah, let's go for Agility Plays Bleed. What we're gonna get 
is uh, first of all a bunch of ways uh, first of all weapons we want new weapons so we're gonna see so many new runs i hope you guys are excited about that so many new weapons so many new skills because let's not forget the weapons when they arrive they arrive with two new skills not one two they arrive with stats which of course okay stats is stats then they arrive with one base skill that you can't fight in the run and then they also arrive with a secondary skill that only that specific weapon can find i think this weapons might be this holy fire that i'm using it might be might be potency of i mean look at this this is literally the proof here this here is 10 percent damage this is 15 percent damage okay <laughs> so this is just better than this by by default because these are permanent now all almost permanent so we're gonna go with the 50 percent damage boost instead of the 10 percent damage boost so, uh, because once again, 3% of 50, because these have 50% base damage, is, um, yeah, it's madness. Uh, by the way, it's madness, <laughs> it doesn't even do the math. Potency, this is 15% damage, I'm gonna take 15% damage over burn up play slow, because who cares about, low? who cares about, you know, that applying that. And uh, the other thing that the dev said that we're gonna do is uh, they are gonna change the stages. You know, each stage is gonna have unique enemies and most likely a different layout because right now every single stage is the same layout there isn't really a big difference between stage layouts uh multicast on my best skill which is also really important in my opinion i definitely want to see some new fresh stages with a different layout and in general not the same thing again and again and again and again like the corner strats uh level up five percent attack speed is decent ish so let's continue and um, yeah, I think we're done here. And I'm gonna stop doing corner strats from here on out, as there is no real reason to after we beat this. And even now, there wasn't a reason for corner strat. I just wanted to go faster through these because uh, that's that's what we do, man. We don't really want to, you know. Oh, damage on physical! Damage on physical! Literally the best thing we can get by far. That's not only 50% damage boost on Blades of Light and on Holy Life. It's also it's also a 25% damage boost on every single might. Which means that's a 100% damage boost through the mites and then another 50 on top of that. So that's like 150% damage boost on all my skills. Level up. None of these to be honest. Potency of one of the mites. Damage on specifically this skill. Well, this is 15% damage. This is 3% damage. So we're gonna go with 3% damage. I think it's very simple. Like that. This is a 2,000 damage hit. This is a 5,000 damage hit. Wow. Okay, we're really good. We are really strong. We're really strong. This still has a cooldown of 0.5. Well... Uh, I said zero, at 0 0.5, it's going to be crazy. I think I'm going to rethink that. Damage on the my main skill. Eh, yeah, why, why, why not? Why not? It's a 3% damage boost. Although the base damage of my main skill is like 300 damage. So I don't know how good that is. That guy's toast. Man, the moments we throw out the Blades of Light, whatever is in that path is toast. Like super toast. Because let's not forget, it's three waves that each all three can hit the opponent. And then... Oh, 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 oh damage, multicast. Let's go even more multicast. 324% multicast. That's pretty decent. Although I think the maximum multicast you want is like 1,500 or something. Let's go. Oh, you know what? I'm now gonna... By the way, I'm, I'm recording these sometimes back to back. Or sometimes, you know, I recorded the next day, but my video isn't uploaded yet. Therefore, there aren't any comments. After this video, I'm gonna read the comments of the previous video where I like asked if anybody did the math. Let's see. Uh, multicast or damage? Ah, let's go multicast. More attack. By the way, I said I'm not gonna do corner strats, so let's actually not do corner strats. Continue cleaning the opponents. Let's see. Let's see. I ask. Ooh. We're still finding agility though. Ah, we're gonna take Blades of Light multicast. I mean, come on. It's damage. And we have three dashes, so theoretically we should be able to avoid anything that might come towards us. Once again, I really hope they're gonna add a lock button at some point. The dev also said that they're gonna add a bunch of new and exciting ways to use all our, uh, the currencies. I guess I have read the um, damn duration. Duration. Uh, yeah, let's make it permanent. This is no. This was one of the mites. No, I just made a mistake. Yeah, this one of the mites is permanent. The rest is not. That I. That was a mistake. I just threw away a level, by the way, because we still need to get the rest of them be permanent. And you can't know which is the next one that's gonna get the buff. So even if you say okay, you can just take duration four more times. No, because it might do the same. Area on what? Okay, let's roll these. But 15% attack speed. And yeah, they just became permanent. I just threw away a level. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. 2.5 seconds on this. Let's go. I, honestly, now that I think about it, this might be less powerful. But if I do this build, if I do five buffs, five times the same buff plus one skill, the starting skill or any skill I decide to do, uh, I can easily do this in higher difficulties. Because the main issue with higher difficulties at the beginning. But this type of play, let's go 5% attack speed. 
this type of build definitely is good in the beginning. Like getting five times a buff in one good skill is 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 really better than going with five times the same skill. Level up, none of these. Oh, three percent, three six percent crit damage. Although I'm not sure if this is multiplicative with the dazed buff, so that might be almost not. Attack speed on the lights, twenty percent, zero point five still. I want to get this down to zero point one if I can. Because I said 0.2 previously. Attack speed. We continue with attack speed. 0.4. Very nice. I just need... How much attack speed has it gained? Cast frequency, 60%. And then my baseline cast frequency. Uh, cast frequency, 145. And another 60 from this. That's like a 200% cast frequency. So... And it's down to 0.4. So theoretically, at 800 is the next one. I don't know. Fragility, of course. We need to get a bunch of fragilities because we're attacking fast enough for these to be worth it. Level up. Disorient. This time we're gonna take it. My days applies burns, because why not? The more everything we do, the better. I really enjoy that this is like a, the holy fire just confirms the assassination. Like, uh, yes, my main attack is my, my first strike, but when the holy fire shoots, everything is toast. Level up. None of these. I'm gonna say multicast. Let's uh, just continue being able to cast more often, faster and whatnot. I also enjoy that the, the holy lights don't shoot all together. And I can just do them. 50% <laughs> attack speed. Let's go. 0.4 of these. At this point, the mites are 100% guaranteed level um, permanent. Holy light, 1.7 second. Very nice. Damage on holy, 30% though. Well, it's, it's not actually 30%. It's 3D plus 60 from the mites. So that was a 90% damage boost right there. This is insane, man. Whoever suggested me to start getting mites, you are right. You are right. Might is a good thing to get four and five times. I love it. I love it. Level up. 30% movement speed at the end of the day. We did actually get it. Although we're still moving slow, of course. Um, at this point, there is no reason to go with the Paladin other than the fact that we are the Lightbringer. We are the Chosen of our God, as I said. Uh, let's go with block. Let's go. What's my block chance? 31%. Let's take this and see how much it's going to change. 25. It's 4%. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe attack speed is the choice. Maybe attack speed is the choice. We're gonna go full on attacks from here on out. We're gonna go DPS. Full on DPS. Level up. None of these. Potency. This is a 15% damage boost. This is a 3% damage boost. Also a movement speed loss. We're gonna go with a 15% without a downside. So let's continue with those. Because uh, let's be serious. If I found a 15% blue upgrade, I would have gone for it. Right? Uh, let's roll these. I don't want multicast. Let's go for agility. Fragility is always good. Another 10% chance to apply 3% more damage taken. Like, just the simple 3% more damage taken is also good. I'm assuming that fragility is multiplicative, by the way. That's why I'm always thinking that uh, fragility is good. And uh, none of these, to be honest. Attack speed on the light. Not really. Uh, I guess... Yeah, not really. Area on area. Nope, that's useless. Uh, I guess max life to not die. I don't know. I mean, I I'm starting to go through those rerolls. Maybe I should have taken the um, multicast when I had the chance. That's also good in general. Although 8% is just so slow, low. So low, low, low. Let's reroll these. That was a mediocre one. Here we go. The rate, nope. 24% uh, damage. I don't know. 24% damage. Let's see. Are these bosses gonna. Nope. They're still dead. Bye bye. Next one. You know, regardless of regardless of difficulty and bosses' health and whatnot, we will be able to see at the end how much DDPS we did. Ooh, 20% damage. I see the hypothermia. We're gonna find it later. Let's go with 20% damage. 0.4 on that still. Uh, 8.6. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. This has a 1.6 second cooldown. I'm gonna go with armor. I think not getting one shot is a bit better than having a 3% less chance of getting um, getting hit. 360, by the way. Let's do one way for a minute 360 until I change my life. I think that's stupid. Let's continue playing the game, actually. Although, it doesn't even matter if I do 360 or not. We just play the game. Let's do some corner strats. Let's summon some bosses. Why not? Something I haven't seen, by the way, is the permanent boss spawning. Multicast 100%. The, the dev said that in this mode I'm playing right now, at some point, you no longer fight. Like, it doesn't matter how many opponents you kill, just infinite bosses. And I have never gotten to this. I want to cast 8%, this, this time let's take it. Because the thing is that... Um, I have never... Yeah, I've never played this on easy mode. I have never played this on no difficulty mode. To see. 25... 50% <laughs> attack speed, let's go. 0.4 and 1.5. If the holy light goes down to 1 second... Oh man, we're gonna be busted. Resilience. Yeah, we're gonna go with resilience. Let's continue. I don't think the might stack with themselves, by the way. Actually, we can test it. 850. Let's see. And the moment. So, 850. This has an 8.2 second cooldown. So, that means, theoretically, for two seconds, it, sh it should still last if it stacks. 
and it doesn't stack. So that, that was the proof right there. So in case you didn't understand what I meant to say, it's supposed to last two seconds more than what the cooldown is. And uh, even if I, even if I, even when I tested to see the moment it activated, it uh, still uh, didn't give us more buffs. So there's that, I guess. <laughs> Might as well, 15% area. Let's get some area going. In general, I need area anyway. Like I need the slashes to cover the whole screen. Now the main issue with area is that Holy Fire also gets area, and Holy Fire is really bad visually. <laughs> Level up, reroll these. Merciless, because damage. Slash, slash, slash. Then your foot off the slash. And let's destroy them. And uh, final, another boss spawn, because why not? Come on, hey, Columeth, and Columeth's toast. Oh no, he's still alive. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I got a bunch of damage. Oh, this guy's doing the laser. That's why I got hit with this much. Get him, and he's toast. Yeah, honestly, they do get destroyed. Let's go defense. Like, the, mo the moment I stay on them for, I don't know, three seconds, they're toast. Level up. Leviathan 30%. I'm gonna take that. It's, again, not really the best idea, but whatever. You know what would be nice? Uh, right now, there is an... Uh, there is an option to reduce effects of your skills, 50% damage. But uh, it would be nice if you could have a reduce an effect of specific skills. I'm gonna suggest these things to the dev. I really hope I'm gonna remember it. The lock button and the, the remove specific skills the visual effects. That would be nice. Level up, frequency multicast on the light. I don't want any of these, like, I don't... Eh, let's take multicast on the light, let's be serious. This is a good skill. It does a lot of damage. It does 6,000 damage three times, and it also multicasts, does it a million more times on top of it. So, it's actually a good skill. And I started believing that the wound thing I thought is a thing, is actually a thing. Like, uh, that if an opponent has 100 wound, uh, not 100 wound, if it has 100 days, and then those days transform over into disorient, and uh, the opponent is wounded, then there is a 50% chance that I will get, you know, more disorients than how many days we had. Uh, I think we're gonna go damage. Continue on to the next endless. Let's continue on to the next endless. So the two things I want to suggest is the lock button and the... Yeah, the visual clutter. Like, if you go over to settings and you go to graphics, we should be able to just do something like this for each skill. Right? Like, specific skill slot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Because, now you might say, but if there is a good chance that you don't know what skill you are going to have in what slot. Yeah, the answer to that is very obvious. And the answer to that is, by the way, I think this is so nice. Look at this, this is clean. This looks so light. This is actually more light than the light. Oh, let's say this is 50% damage, I'm gonna go 50% damage. So, this is more light than the light. I love it. I'm gonna keep it like this. Yeah, but uh, if, how will you know what skill is in what slot uh, when you use the option? Well, the thing is that you use this option at the end of the run, and at the end of the run, most of the time, you already have your skills already premeditated, like you're not gonna change skills. So, you know, damage on holy 3%. Once again, this is not a 3%, this is a 90% boost. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Because these four mites all together are 200% damage. Baseline. And the 3% of 200 is 60 plus the 3D. I, I don't know why I'm explaining this again and again. Bye bye everything, bye bye everything. They're toasted, but that was the first set of bosses. Damage on lasting, let's go. Let's go, lasting are the mites. This is a 20% damage, 80% damage right there. Damage on this, potency on a mite. This is 45%, 50% of 45 is 22.5% damage. This is 45% damage, so we're gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with a 45% more damage boost there. Because that was one mite, okay? That was potency on one mite. Not on all the mites. If it wasn't all the mites, I would have taken it without even thinking about it. None of these. Let's roll it. Come on. Duration on the mite, obviously no. Ah, let's go with an armor. What's my armor at, by the way? 51% damage taken, 30% chance to take zero. Of course, block is better. The, the, the deeper I go into endless, the more important block is and not armor. Because, um, because armor is not going to protect you from the one shot. While block is, has a chance, you know, to protect you from the one shot. Because what is better, uh, to take 90% less damage from a 10,000 damage hit, or to have a 90% chance, not even a 90, or to have a 50% chance to survive? Uh, let's go with damage here. Because 2,000 damage is gonna kill you in any case, right? I think, you know, the later is the better. Let's roll. Let's see this. Uh, area of effect. Yeah, area of effect, of course, of course, of course. We're gonna go with a good area of effect. We're gonna continue with our slashes being busted. Man, multicast, multicast. 60% or 24? Hmm, let's go to 24. Uh, once again, please lock button, let's go fragility. 
Uh, it's, it was a really good idea for go going with the Holy Fire. These two really combo. Like, I think this is the play. You pick up two skills that combo with each other, and then one buff four times. Potency on one of them, or Magnet. I'm gonna say Magnet. We continue scaling levels. Continue scaling levels. My damage is already through the roof. Uh, I I'm not sure how many more of these Magnets are worth it. I think I should maybe stop taking them. Damage on last thing. Once again, this is an 80% damage boost on the whole build. Look at this. 1000 A65. Oh, next time I take one of these, I'm gonna be able to showcase the if I, how correct I am or not. Next time I get one of these that boost everything. Well, especially if it gets, uh, you know, physical attacks do 50% more. And that would be nice. Level up. None of these, to be honest. Potency on one of them. Yeah, I mean, not on one of them. I want to get on all of them. On the middle of the screen. Let's do stop doing corner strats. Let's just run around destroying opponents. Honestly, this became a lot more of a fun run than what I thought it's going to be. Burn a play slow. Ah, fragility is more DPS. <laughs> That burn applies slow has to appear with something like plus 15 life and plus 6 4 block or something. Uh, or like, I don't know, 5% more damage. Up level up. Like Leviathan. No, let's roll all of these. Here we go. 100% area. Not that it's really that good for us, but whatever. She's toast. Look at those two opponents. Zzzup. They're toast. They're alive. And look how fast we go through 3 million life. Only 3 million life? Yeah, that's not enough to survive here. Uh, these are useless. Let's roll these. These are also useless. Let's roll these. Behemoth. I'm going to go through percent life. Damage on my actual attack. I, mean, I guess one of the two attacks. I'm still not sure if the assassination happens from Holy Fire. Or if actually the, the, the blades then, you know, after the Holy Fire does the auto 12 block. After the Holy Fire does the transformation. If then Blades of Light destroy. 0.4 is still on this. Still more still going with it. I think this is going to be 0.3 when this is going to be 7. Or, uh, if not 7, like 8, 7.5. Let's roll these. 10% attack speed. This is a good choice. 7.9. 0.3. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> 7.9 is when. So I guess the 0 0.2 is going to happen when this is at 6. I would say 6.5. Something like that. Something like that. Let's just continue slashing through everything. By the way, every single one of these. Uh, let's not take these. We're going to go for agility, of course. I think... I think regardless of what it says, like, it says 0 0.3, but I think decimals do actually work in this game. Let's get a bit of movement speed for safety. What was the left side? I think the left side was damage or something. Whatever, let's get some movement speed for safety. Zip. These guys are toasted. Nope, they're still alive. Oh no, they got toasted. Oh man. This... Oh, let's go. 48% multicast. Oh, this guy just lasered us and I was just staying there. Like, we're chilling, man. Some lasers at him. I think I need to make the light a bit more visible. Still almost nothing is multicast. Holy, let's go. Uh, let's make the light, the graphics a bit more visible. We can actually... Yeah, this is still light enough. This is still light enough. Like, it's still a bunch of light. I just want to avoid what I can, man. Frailty. Let's continue with those. Uh, fragility is also a part of why our DPS is scaling. Not just uh, bursty. Like, we need to apply a bunch of these for opponents to get destroyed. Just look how many debuffs opponents will get, though. None of these, to be honest. Uh, frailty might as well. Look at the debuffs of opponents. 720 stacks of this thing, and then now it's 1,000 plus. And uh, the laser guy is there, which uh, got almost all our life. Like, the laser guy is the one that has killed us the most times. Not the snake lady that most of the time kills us most times. So that's weird. Let's take that. And uh, she's also close. I mean, not she. He, he, she, it doesn't matter. Let's roll. Damage increase on lasting. This is a good chance to showcase. So, a thousand hundred sixty percent damage. So I'm saying it's an eighty percent damage boost. So next next time we're gonna get buffed, it's gonna be a thousand two hundred and twenty. Let's see. A thousand two hundred and twenty is my guess. Um, attacks speed on the blades flight hundred. Let's see. And you see, I was wrong. A thousand. Wait, how did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? Where did it all go wrong? 40%, 80%. Yeah, I should have been 80% damage boost. I uh, maybe I did uh, something wrong on the math. Go a smidge of attack speed once again. Actually, should have gone with the block, but whatever, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna try to do the math again the next time this happens. <laughs> maybe. Was it 60? Was it 1,260? If it was 1,260, 
then um, yeah, then I just did the math one. Like it was eighty percent, but for some reason I said I said that's gonna be twenty at the end. Resilience. Your toast. Your toast. All of these are toast right now. These are the very easy bosses. Whoa! Uh -oh, we're gonna lose our first life. We're gonna lose our first life. Shoot some lights. Shoot some wave of lights. Is this purple? Yeah, this is purple. If I kill these bosses, we survive. If, it, it's like 50-50. Either I die or they die. No! I just saw the blade. I just saw the blade last moment. We just lost life for no reason. I mean, not for no reason. I did actually get hit. Like, <laughs> fact of the matter is, it's no reason. <laughs> the reason is I failed at avoiding. That's the reason. And um, yeah, now everything's gonna die and now we're gonna go for life. Because at the end of each wave, you go for life. So uh, we literally were so close to fully healing before we die. Area on frontal, very nice. Roll these. Ever some attack speed. And let's go. Now we're gonna fully heal. It is what it is. It is what it is. Losing a life here and there isn't really the end of the world. Look at this, 390 life. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna reduce up. Oh, let's not press that thing. I really hope that the restart button... By the way, why is the restart button next to the settings? And I really hope that the restart button isn't in instant. Like, I really hope that it isn't instant. Like, if you press it, it says, are you sure? Because if it is instant, we're gonna test it later. We're gonna test it later. If I remember, of course. 80 points for the bosses. Now we're gonna really start going through endless very fast. Bosses, by the way, have 2,400% more life. Uh, I'm gonna also see how much more life they have in the next wave. Just so that we have a comparison to compare with. Level up. Attack speed on the Blades of Light, because I still want to get the thing going. Light. Oh, we just got hit for a thousand, a hundred ninety something, which isn't really good. But we're still melting the bosses. We're still melting the bosses. Very nice. Level up. None of these. Uh, honestly, none of these. One. Roll these. Uh, damage on physical. Okay. So my theory is, from a thousand one hundred forty, it's gonna go up to a thousand four hundred forty. So let's take this. That's crit damage. Thousand. What? Why did it go up to 100%? I don't understand. Oh, it's 50%. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was plus 100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did the wrong math. No, 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 no. This was correct. It should have gone up by 100%. It's correct. It should have gone up by 100%. I just did the math wrong. I thought it was going to go up by 200%. I don't know why I'm mixing up the math, man. I don't know why I'm mixing up the math. And the same is for 80%. Like, I, I did some mistake on the math. I, I'm pretty sure. Let's continue playing this game. Let's roll. Damage on buffs. I'm going to go yes on this, of course. The more we buff the damage of the buffs, the more the buffs damage or the yeah the more we buff the damage of the buffs the more the buffs buff our damage got it perfect with the second try second try second try <laughs> let's continue um multi cast and holy by the way there are some things called punk twisters in my uh, language like is that a thing in usa too like are there punk twisters as like a thing that you used to do when you were a kid or something because we had that over here, and that was my meager, eager attempt of replicating it in this video. Let's see, are we gonna destroy the ice guy as fast as we can, or are we not? By the way, opponents only have like 15 million life, so uh, I don't know how good this run is or not. <laughs> 15 million life is kiddie numbers, by the way. The the laser build definitely can cover this much damage a thousand times over. 50% damage is really life, let's go 50% damage. I'm gonna say, although it isn't really, really that good even, Max life maybe was the better choice there, but what whatevs. Let's continue. We're gonna always go with offense. Damage on frontal, we take that. It doesn't even matter if that affects the, the blade of lights or if it affects the might. Like, if something says the word damage increase for multiple skills, we take it. We don't even think about it. We don't even think about it. Especially if it's for might. Like, I would prefer if it was for might. Let's roll these. Area, useless. Uh, I'm gonna roll these. Let's see what we can get. Lead applies poison. Let's go! <laughs> that, that was a joke passive. Might as well take it. For the memes, man. For the memes. And continue applying the millionists of debuff. It's a good thing I didn't go for... I think I picked up crit chance at some point. Yeah. But it's a good thing I didn't invest into a single point of crit after that. Because, um, man, at this point we're just applying so many debuffs. I don't think anything can even survive. I'm gonna go for agility. Although there was, you know, the choice for... Well, you know what? Let's, let's get with the lightning ready. Uh-oh. The lightning lady is killing me the most often of all. Like, that's why I tried to get her down. Because she attacks extremely fast. Level up, damage on my main skill, 45%. I'm not even sure if that is my main skill, by the way. I'm saying it's my main skill, but is it? Slash, 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 slash. Lights show, avoid, level up. Let's see what we get. Multicast holy, we're gonna continue with the meme. 
Uh, I mean, it's not a meme. Multicast does actually stack up to, I think, 1,200 something percent. We're gonna go with armor, actually. Which, what's my armor at this point? 54% less damage taken and 48% chance to take zero. Once again, I think the 48% chance to take zero is a lot better. Although a lot of bosses do multi-attack hits. So uh, you might block one hit. Oh, we just got hit for 155. The block did nothing. Okay, I need to get rid of this laser lady, especially... Nah, and we're almost dead. Panic, 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 panic. I mean, once again, if we lose... Oh, of course. Of course. Why wouldn't it be lightning? Why wouldn't it be lightning, man? She always gets me. She always gets me. And that's main, the main issue here. Didn't I say... Didn't I really tell you guys that at the end of the day, we died? <laughs> Difficulty didn't matter. I told you difficulty doesn't matter. Now, I think we're gonna play on, on lower difficulties from here on on. Because at the end of the day, you will... Like, the difference... There is no difference, okay? Yes, the game becomes easier in the beginning. But the moment you enter Endless 4, Endless 5, Endless 6, you will get one shot, man. You, you won't survive. <laughs> Unless you have, like, a god build. But at that point, you're gonna just blast through those uh, Endless modes. So, um, yeah, there's that, I guess. We got the wind going. Let's also really quickly test if the if the restart button here is actually a YOLO button. Whoopsie. Okay, good thing, good thing, good thing. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with it then. If, if, a, if a menu appears, then lovely. I love it. Anyway, so, as I said, this is going to be it. I'm really eager to see what the dev is going to do with all those crystals, what the dev is going to do with all those minor soul stones, like maybe new runes, maybe new A, B, C, D, F, G. And, um, yeah, I'm going to go and suggest those two suggestions with the graphics, the visual setting, and also... Wait a minute. Did that affect the fire in the background? Dev! <laughs> like what? <laughs> Special effects intensity. Anyway, that is going to be it. As I said, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Blah, blah, blah. If you enjoyed, drop a like. Uh, out the channel. If you want to see more, you can subscribe too. And uh, yeah, comment down below about maybe a run idea, maybe anything you want to see. I don't know. Uh, I still enjoy this game. I, I want to start playing around with meme runs like this one. And also maybe um, let's have a debate about if it's better to go with four or five buffs plus one or two skills, or if it's better to go with four or five skills plus one or two buffs. Uh, I think the the first is better. Like the thing I just I did just now seemed a bit more clean to me. Like I felt it's a bit better, but it's also more fun to have like millions upon millions of meteors raining all the time. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess depends on the skill. Anyway, as I said, that's going to be it. Thanks for all the Patreon membership supporters. Once again, thanks for watching, and see you guys around.